Good Saturday evening. I'm meteorologist Molly McCollum joining you on your CBS 46 app and on CBS 46.com. Hopefully you really enjoyed today. A lot of sunshine and we're in the middle of our dry stretch of weather. In fact, this is the longest that we've seen consecutive dry days since December of 2019. So last year, as we start off tomorrow morning, it will be a little bit chilly and the winds will back off too. That's going to allow for, for some patchy frost to form in areas, especially where we're close to the freezing mark. 36 in Atlanta, 35 in Canton tomorrow morning and 35 for you in Athens. Also tomorrow morning, very early in the morning, we have our time change at Sunday at 2 a.m. Our clocks turn forward one hour as we enter daylight saving time. So our new sunset time is what a lot of people are going to be excited about, and that's at 740. Of course, exactly an hour later than what we saw today. Tomorrow you'll have a lot of sunshine once again. Soak it up. We will start a little bit chilly in the 30s, but we'll soar into the 60s by the afternoon, and then we're expecting mostly clear skies as we head into Monday morning. So tomorrow afternoon, a lot of us close to that 60 degree mark 59 in Covington 60 in Atlanta 62 even in Athens. That's one of of our warm spots. Also 62 for you in Floyd County, the Rome area 62 and 61 for you in LaGrange. Atlanta, we are number one right now. Maybe not something we want to be number one at, but as far as the wettest years on record as we go through March 5th, so that was just a couple of days ago and we saw our last round of rain and we are in number one in the record books. It has been an extremely wet start to the year and we do have more rain chances as we head into the upcoming week, but Monday will stay dry too. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even into the end of the upcoming week, we will see daily chances for rain. But the difference is this won't be very heavy rain and we will we will see some breaks in the rainfall too, unlike what we've seen for the past couple of weeks. So timing this out just a little bit. Monday will be dry, but we'll see a few more clouds move in. It's going to be this front that is the catalyst for all of the rain. And despite the fact that it's a cold front, temperatures will stay pretty warm throughout the week, anywhere in the upper 60s, with a few of us reaching the 70s, especially towards the later half of the week. And the difference between this system and the last couple of weeks is the rainfall amounts just don't look all that impressive. Anywhere from half an inch of rain up to an inch of rain in portions of the mountains. Yes, we don't really need that at this point, but it's not the three to four inches of rain that we've been seeing week after week after week, causing a lot of flooding problems. So enjoy the sun for tomorrow. Enjoy the sun for Monday. The rain does move back in Tuesday, Wednesday and through the end of the week. But check out those temperatures well above average in the 70s. It'll be feeling like like spring.